The American Diabetes Association 2022 Standards of Care have recently been released. Among the highlights, we have the use of the SGLT2 inhibitors to slow progression of kidney and cardiovascular disease, the use of non-steroidal mineral receptor agonists, such as finerenone, to slow progression of kidney disease, and the use of the new race-free equation that is currently being implemented by the National Kidney Foundation and the American Society of Nephrology. The SGLT2 inhibitors have been shown to slow progression of kidney disease, decrease albuminuria, and have a cardiovascular benefits in patients with and without diabetes. Chronic kidney disease affects 37 million Americans and 850 million people around the world. Diabetes is the most common cause of kidney disease in the United States. Unfortunately, chronic kidney disease is an asymptomatic disease, and therefore symptoms only appear very late in the disease process when people are already needing dialysis or transplantation. Therefore, screening for chronic kidney disease in high-risk populations, those that have diabetes, hypertension, or a family history of kidney disease is of vital importance. Unfortunately, it, not everybody at high risk is being screened, and therefore it's very important that when you discuss it with your provider, if you're at high risk, it, you at least have these tests annually. And there's two tests. One is a blood test to measure creatinine, which we use to estimate your glomerular filtration rate, or GFR for short. And the second is to measure albumin in the urine, which is the term is albuminuria, to see how much a protein is coming down in your urine. And that sort of tells us how much damage your kidney has. Often I get asked, when is a good time to refer to a kidney specialist? And while I think everybody should see a kidney doctor, it's impossible to see 15,000 people to see 37 million Americans. And therefore, co-managed with primary care providers is of vital importance. And refer patients when the diagnosis is uncertain, it's not behaving like diabetic kidney disease, for example. The disease is rapidly progressing, there's blood in the urine, uh, there's systemic uh, symptoms that point towards a different disease and that that patient may need a kidney biopsy, for example. In addition, there are um, patients that may need referral because they need dialysis or transplantation. So those are patients when their kidney function is relatively low, their GFR is less than 30. Those patients need to be seen by a specialist. And then again, you should always refer when there are any questions that a kidney specialist could help you with, such as management of blood pressure or management of electrolyte imbalances, high potassium, low calcium, high phosphorus, et cetera. So those are all complications of kidney disease that the kidney specialist is able to handle with ease. If you have additional questions, there's new resource in the 2022 standards of care that chapter 11 is completely dedicated to the management of chronic kidney disease, and it may be very helpful to answer some of your questions.